Tomorrow will make it one week since Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars for making a joke about uh, Jada's ball head. Um, and I did a video about it and, you know, a couple of days ago. And I called Jada a whore and I said she was a bad wife and I think I said she was a terrible mother. And I stand by all of those statements. But I have to talk about the hypocrisy with all these celebrities coming out and saying that they're traumatized by the slap. You know, you got um, Wanda Sykes saying that she's traumatized and you got Ellen saying that she's still traumatized. And then you had Jim Carrey out here talking about how disgusting it was and what Will Smith did was so disgusting. And I'm like, Jim Carrey, oh my gosh, how can you talk about Will Smith when your ex-girlfriend committed suicide a couple of years ago because you gave her a couple of STDs, including herpes? And, and 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 they say it was a worse STD than that. The only other worse STD I can think of is HIV. Because why would she commit suicide over herpes? But when I saw Jim Carrey on the news with Gail King talking about how bad Will Smith is and how he would sue Will Smith for $200 million and a lot of this and a lot of that, I said, look at this hypocritical bastard. He gets to sit on TV and chastise Will Smith for a slap when his girlfriend committed suicide and he has faced no charges for giving her herpes and giving her STD. You know, you don't see the feds trying to knock down doors to charge him with the man act like they did R. Kelly for giving that. And she was a young girl. She was like, what, 25? Yeah, she was like 25. I forget that girl's name that, that Jim Carrey was dating. And um, she caught herpes and other STDs from him and she committed suicide. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible the way that, you know, white men can do something and completely get off scotch-free and then sit on national TV and wag their finger at a black man and everybody cheers and says, yeah, 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 Jim Carrey is right now. Jim Carrey should keep his mouth closed. And then I saw Alec Baldwin tweeting something about the situation. And I'm like, whoa, the murderer? He murdered a young woman a man lost his wife, a son lost his mother, and Alec Baldwin is out here talking about a slap, and Will Smith turning the Oscars into the Jerry Springer show. Alec Baldwin is a notorious hothead. He's attacked photographers for taking pictures of his wife, even though she's in the street, she's a public figure. He's attacked photographers, you know, he, he yells and screamed at his oldest daughter and called her a pig when she was like nine years old. I mean, how are all these people acting so high and mighty? And I have to think, I think that the elites are telling these celebrities to come out here and say that they're traumatized about the slap that Will Smith gave to Chris Rock because they're getting ready to destroy Will Smith. There's something behind the scenes that Will Smith is not doing why the elites are making the media embarrass him like this and carry it on and make it seem like Will Smith is a goddamn serial killer. It was a slap. It was wrong. It was immature. He shouldn't have done it. But for this to still be going on almost a week later lets me know that something is going on behind the scenes that the elites are not happy with and they're using this slap as a way to get Will Smith the fuck up out of Hollywood.
he already had to resign from the, the board of the academy. So he can't vote for the Oscars anymore. And he also, uh, I think he can't be nominated anymore for any more awards. So um, they already got him to resign. And we don't know what other punishments will happen. But um, Will Smith is not going to leave this business clean. No black man will leave show business clean. No black man will leave show business clean. They're saying, wow, we never saw this side of Will Smith. He's violent. He's violent. And Tariq Nasheed did a great video called The Darkening of Will Smith. The Darkening of Will Smith. You're going to see a lot of negative articles about Will Smith from now on. You're probably not going to hear anything good. And, um... What they're going to start doing in a couple of weeks is bringing out a whole bunch of women to say that Will Smith slapped them or did something to them. They're getting rid of Will Smith. Trust me. Trust me. I, I, see, I see what they're doing. Because there's no way a slap should be getting this much attention a week later. It's no, it's no way. It's no way. Not when Alec Baldwin killed a woman and everybody was like, oh, we have so much sympathy for him. Oh, my God, he must be feeling so bad. No, the woman is dead. The, the dead woman deserves our sympathy, not Alec Baldwin. But that's the difference. A white actor can kill an innocent young woman on the set, a mother, a mother, and um, he can get sympathy and oh he can get hired again but they say will Hollywood ever hire Will Smith again outrageous outrageous black men are always overly punished anything a black man does that is wrong they're overly punished they're punished for things they do and they're punished for things that they don't do. You have R. Kelly being charged federally for allegedly transmitting herpes, but you got Charlie Sheen out here giving women HIV and saying, yeah, I, I had unprotected sex. And some of the chicks have died. And the media covers it up. And you have Jim Carrey who gave a woman her piece and she committed suicide and the feds are not after him. And this is a woman that is significantly younger. So how come the feds can do uh, all sorts of charges against R. Kelly and said he likes young women and, 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 he, and, and, and young underage girls. And uh, even if the women were grown, they still were significantly younger than him and he's in a position of authority. What about all the young ladies that Charlie Sheen gave HIV to? Wasn't he in a position of authority over them? Wasn't Jim Carrey in a position of authority over the young lady that he was dating, that he gave harpies to? And he hasn't had one day in jail? This is insane to me, man. This is insane. Will Smith is seeing how school is keeping. He probably thought that, you know, he could skate by in Hollywood and that they saw him and he was friends with these people, but they don't give a fuck about him. You see how quick Jim Carrey got on camera to bash Will Smith after being all up in this man's face in several pictures Hugging him, kissing him on the cheek. That just show you how, how, how two-faced these people are, man. They're getting rid of Will Smith. Charlie Sheen is protected. Jim Carrey is protected. All of the white men in Hollywood who have been accused of sexual misconduct are being protected. The only people that have gone to jail. Wait, why is he the only one in jail? 
Weinstein is the only white man in jail, and he about to get he gonna get he gonna get out of that um, conviction. He's getting out of that conviction. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Man. The hypocrisy, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy. Will Smith is now an evil black man in white media's eyes. He might as well be OJ to them. The way they're going on and on and on about it. And then you had coons coming out here to write open letters to Will Smith. Like, what, what, what's his name? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, basketball player, talking about, oh, Will Smith was wrong. And writing an open letter. Why are you writing an open letter to a grown man? Will Smith is not a child. Will Smith is not a child at all. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. These people are disgusting, man. Anyway, shout out to Will Smith. And uh, I hope he's ready for the battle that's coming. Because it's a battle coming his way. Expect uh, sexual assault allegations, abuse allegations. Expect it all. Expect it all against Will Smith. They're done with him. The elites are done with him. And um, they got these celebrities out here saying they traumatized. They traumatized over a slap. Unbelievable.